Welcome to Q Republic. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, like, and share. Welcome back to Q Republic. Today is January 15, 2021, Friday. Abra Mining says that there is no undisclosed information causing the unusual price movement. TBGI is unaware of any positive material information regarding its unusual price movement. However, increase in online platform activities has created a huge potential for ICT industry. And uh, today, Mary Mart launched uh, their wholesale club program for individual and business membership. And currently, it is free of charge and magbibigay po sila ng gift until uh, I think April 15 so for the individual membership bigyan po nila kayo ng t-shirt and then uh, for business membership bigyan naman nila kayo ng uh, 1,000 worth of groceries so check po natin yung mga effect ng news na yan dito sa mga stocks na review natin and these are AC Energy, Apollo Global, PHA, Abra Mining, TBGI, PHR, Dito CME, Mary Mart, MRC, AGI, Abacor, Basic Energy, and JFC. Sa mga bago pong nanonood ng video na ito, I'm inviting you to please subscribe on this channel para maging updated po kayo sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin, particularly sa mga insights na binibigay po natin sa ating mga stocks. Like and share this video as well para mapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. Maraming maraming salamat po. AC Energy closed today at 6.48. Meron po tayong pagtaas or pagbaba na 2.56%. Setting previous closing price around 6.64. Number of trades natin, 11,620. <clears throat> and uh, as of the moment, meron po tayong uh, net foreign buying sa kanya around 21.63 million. So checking our net foreign indicator here uh, from January 13. Hanggang uh, today, so tatlong araw na sunod-sunod na meron pong ascending na pagpasok ng ating uh, net foreign buying dito kay AC Energy. Dito po sa ating uh, support and uh, resistance, meron po tayo ditong resistance around 6.75 and then support around 6.20. Checking our stochastic indicator, we are, we are still here in the oversold area, so nasa level 15 po tayo. Wala po tayong momentum na makita dito sa ating stochastic indicator. Checking our RSI indicator. So, uh, same po yung pinapakita nila. Wala po tayo dito uh, momentum na nakikita. And nasa mababang level po tayo. <clears throat> nasa level 49. So, wala po tayo sa oversold area ng ating RSI indicator. Checking our MACD. So, mapapansin din po natin yung ating um, pagbaba dito sa ating histogram. So, sobrang hina po ng momentum na pinapakita ni AC Energy as of the moment per hour indicator. So, ito pong uh, chart na tinitingnan natin ngayon. So, uh, active pa rin po yung ating mga lower highs na no-observe dito kay AC Energy. And ito pong uh, support natin around 6.20 is uh, only 30% strong. Kung papasok po kayo dito kay AC Energy or mag-accumulate ng shares, Possible, mas magandang area po itong uh, ating 5.70 area kung saan supported po ito ng ating moving average 50. Uh, the reason uh, behind that is because yung ating momentum is uh, not strong enough. Uh, so, mas marami tayong uh, red flags kesa sa ating green flags. Yung green flags natin is yung ating uh, net foreign buying, yung number of trades natin, tsaka yung mataas na volume natin. Kaya lang kasi yung volume natin today sa uh, selling volume, and then yung sa mga indicators nga natin still showing na mahina yung momentum ni AC Energy plus itong chart natin, <coughs> lower highs po yung ating uh, nakikita. So, it is uh, safer na abangan natin itong si AC Energy dito around uh, 5.70 uh, area or 6.20 below. And uh, yun nga, meron tayong price rejection. So, as what you can see on the candlestick na ginawa natin today, Ang highest natin is uh, 706 and then after that uh, nagkaroon po tayo ng uh, profit taking. 
So, rejection po siya dito sa resistance natin and nag-close nga tayo dito sa 6.40 area. So, we have formed another high today pero nagkaroon nga tayo ng rejection. So, we are still speculating na by next week, <coughs> possible na mabutas pa rin po natin pababa itong ating 6.20 area. So, check nyo po maigi yung magiging options natin for AC Energy. Apollo Global, close today at 0.30. Meron po tayong pagtaas na 7.14% sa kanya from our previous closing price around uh, 0.28. Number of trades natin today, 20,000. So, very active. And uh, net foreign buying natin today is 46.41 million. Checking our net foreign uh, buying indicator today is our second consecutive trading day. And uh, mas nahingitan niya po yung pumasok sa ating kahapon around uh, 7 million. So today, yun nga, 46 million. So masyadong mataas po yung pumasok na, na net foreign sa atin today. And uh, dito po sa ating chart, in-update po natin yung ating uh, possible retracement na pwedeng ma-absorb or ma-observe dito kay Apollo. So currently, meron tayo dito ang resistance around 0 0.30 area and then support around 0 0.28 Checking our stochastic indicator, very good momentum pa rin po tayo. And nandito tayo sa overbought area level 86. Checking our RSI indicator, so same thing. Uh, pagtapos po ng pagbaba natin dito, patuloy pa rin po yung pagtaas ng ating RSI indicator. So nasa level 88 naman tayo. Checking our MACD, uh, we still have a good space between the blue line and red line. <coughs> and may kita natin na Halos pantay-pantay yung histogram na ginagawa natin dito kay Apollo. So, uh, mataas pa rin yung histogram natin sa kanya. So, having said that, all indicators are up. And uh, meron tayong magandang support dito sa atin ng uh, ating uh, foreigners. The only red flag that uh, we can see here is that itong classing candlestick na ginawa natin today. Kasi nag-form tayo ng high. So, as high as uh, 0 0.33. So, dito yon And then, nagkaroon tayo ng... Uh, profit taking at pumaba siya dito sa 0.30 so medyo hindi siya magandang candlestick but that's the only red flag that what that uh, we can observe here kasi pati yung volume natin still napaaganda ng support ng market natin dito kay Apollo uh, this is the only red flag that uh, we can see as of the moment so uh, mataas pa rin yung ating mga indicator yung momentum na nakikita natin sa kanya so we can still uh, observe um parang pataas na movement dito kay Apollo. So, kung meron kayong shares dito kay Apollo and medyo worried kayo dito sa candlestick na to, um, ito pa lang naman yung red flag na nakikita natin sa kanya. So, you can still hold the shares that uh, you currently have dito kay Apollo. And if you are planning na mag-accumulate ng shares or pumasok dito kay Apollo, <coughs> I would say na medyo okay pa rin naman pumasok dito kay Apollo. Kaya lang, uh, be careful nga dito sa candlestick na ginawa natin today. It could be na itong klaseng candlestick na to is parang ganito nung ginawa natin noong January 5. So, if ganito yung gagawin nating pattern, we can observe another uh, selling candlestick by uh, Monday. So, medyo um, nagkaroon tayo ng low dito. So, possible na magkaroon din tayo ng low on um, Monday kapag na uh, resuming. So, ang possible low natin is around 0. 24 area. So kung saan nagko-consolidate din tayo from January 11 <coughs> hanggang January 14. So ito yung uh, best price na pwede natin makuha si Apollo. Maganda pa yung momentum niya, maganda yung trend. So pwede pa rin natin siyang uh, sakyan or pwede pa rin tayong mag-accumulate ng shares sa kanya. Pero yun nga, may red flag tayo ditong candlestick. So it is safer uh, to get a uh, share or price uh, from uh, this area, 0 0.24. So, siguro pwede uh, 0. Uh, 25.50 below para lang uh, medyo malapit tayo dito sa moving average na yun. And uh, while uh, we are attempting na basagin itong uh, high na ginawa natin uh, today. Pero kailangan natin siyang observe if hindi natin siya mababasag itong high na ginawa natin in um, 2 to 3 days possible na magkaroon na tayo ng consolidation dito kay Apollo. Pero as of the moment, uh, we can still enter and um, the best price that we can observe uh, itong si Apollo is uh, around uh, 0 
below. So, check nyo po maigi yung magiging options nyo for uh, Apollo Global. PHA, close today at 2.88. Meron po tayong pagtaas na 1.05% sa kanya from our previous closing price around uh, 2.84 number of trades natin today 13,500 very active as well and uh, meron tayo ditong uh, net foreign buying so negative 14.58 million checking our net foreign indicator here so nadagdagan po yung ating uh, paglabas ng ating mga investors sa kanya from uh, yesterday kahapon meron tayo ditong around uh, negative 8 million so mas nadagdagan siya ngayon negative 13 million so today is our second consecutive uh, trading day na wala pong support coming from the foreign investors and dito sa ating chart meron tayo ditong resistance around 3 peso area and support around 2.55 area checking our stochastic indicator very good momentum din po yung nakikita natin we are currently here at uh, level 90 nasa overbought area tayo same thing with our uh, RSI indicator. So, uh, nasa overbought area then in level 92. And currently, nasa peak tayo ng ating RSI indicator. Checking our MACD. So, good space between the blue line and the red line. And yung histogram natin is uh, mataas pa rin. So, hindi naman siya kagad bumababa. Hindi siya nagsusubside. So, nasa peak din tayo ng ating uh, MACD. Kaya lang, uh, since maganda pa rin yung momentum natin, hindi naman natin siya asahan na bigla na lang bababa. Kung magsusubside man siya, siguro medyo ganito kalaki kagaya no January 14. So overall, maganda yung mga indicators na nakikita natin sa kanya. Uh, pati yung mga volume natin is uh, nagiging consistent, hindi naman siya mababa. So uh, medyo may maganda tayong volume sa kanya. The only red flag na nakikita natin dito is yung ating uh, net foreign selling. Pero dito naman sa ating chart, uh, maganda naman yung nakikita natin uh, dito. So, itong 3 peso area, uh, there's like a 70% na mababasag natin siya by uh, resuming uh, next week. So, sa may mga hawak pong shares dito kay uh, PHA, you can still continue to hold on dahil maganda yung mga indicators na nakikita natin sa kanya. Uh, pansinin nyo itong uh, line natin na moving average 9. So, sobrang naiwan siya ng ating candlestick because we have a strong uh, momentum dito kay uh, PHA. So, sa may mga gustong pumasok dito kay PHA, it's still okay. However, mas maganda kung uh, near 2.55 nyo siya makukuha para mas mag mapunta kayo sa magandang position. So, I would say medyo uh, safe yung around uh, <coughs> 2.68 below. So, uh, if hindi kayo makukuha dito around 2.55 dito sa 2.60 area, it's okay na kasi we can still observe na mababasag natin tong uh, 3 peso area by uh, next week. So, yun lang yung kailangan natin i-observe dito. Medyo isang range lang yung nababasag natin sa kanya. So, by next week, possible pag nabasag natin tong 3 peso, ang high na pwede natin magawa is around 3.30. So, hindi natin siya na-speculate na babasag pa further yung 3.30 by Monday. So, check niyo po maigi yung magiging options natin for PHA. TBGI closed today at 0.55. Meron po tayong pagtaas na 48.65% sa kanya from our previous closing price around 0.37. Number of trades natin 6,900. And meron po tayong today net foreign uh, selling na 4.69 million. So checking our net foreign indicator. So after po ng two consecutive trading days na meron pong support from the uh, foreign investors. Ngayon naman po is sobrang uh, laki po ng nilabas nila. So, 4.69 million. Checking our chart, meron po tayo ditong uh, resistance around 0 0.57 area and then support around 0 0.50 area. Checking our stochastic indicator. So, very strong momentum po yung nangyari today. We are here in the overbought area and uh, we are currently here at level 100, checking our RSI indicator. So, same thing. Nasa overbought area tayo. Strong momentum. And uh, level 81, checking our MACD. Uh, today is our parang initial phase na magkaroon dito ng uh, positive dito sa ating histogram. And uh, lumaki yung ating space between the blue line and uh, the red line. However, uh, medyo red flag sa atin itong ganitong klaseng 
uh, histogram kagad. Kasi ang uh, gusto natin sana dito sa histogram natin is yung para bang uh, unti-unti siyang tataas, hindi yung kagad yung mataas siya. Kasi possible na baka mag-subside kagad to. Kung di man siya mag-subside ng mababa, definitely mag-subside siya mga around uh, 3 fourths or around dito sa 0.0090. And the other red flag uh, that uh, we can see here in TBGI is that yung number of uh, trades natin. So, uh, below uh, 10,000 siya. So, nasa around 6,900. I mean, kung i-compare natin siya sa mga talagang very active and yung talagang maganda yung mga indicators kagaya ni Apollo, so, um, double digits yung number of trades natin sa kanya. So, since maganda naman yung indicator natin dito kay TBGI, uh, meron pa rin taman tayong inaasahan sa kanya ng magandang uh, paggalaw. Hindi naman siya kagad uh, bababa dito. Kaya lang, yun din, meron pa rin tayo ditong uh, red flag, itong klaseng candlestick na ginawa natin is uh, 44% yung kanyang inakit from uh, from just from today. So imagine kung meron mga nakabodega from uh, this below, uh, most probably by next week is uh, mag-start silang mag-profit uh, taking dito kay TBGI. Pero since meron tayong magandang momentum, at kung meron kayong hawak na shares at gusto nyo pumasok dito kay uh, TBGI, I would suggest uh, medyo kuha kayo below 0.50. Para if ever man magkabuhusan, at least nasa safe side kayo. Siguro mga around 0.45, ito yung parang pwede nyo i-target na entry ka sa, sa kanya. Kasi definitely, kung may mga uh, traders tayong kasama na bumili lang dito parang last week, definitely magpa-profit taking sila kasi 40% yung uh, tinaas na itong candlestick na to Pero, uh, hindi pa naman natin sinasabi na magda-downtrend ka agad itong si TBGI. Medyo uh, red flag lang itong gantong klaseng candlestick na ginawa niya. Kumbaga parang uh, biglaan siya considering na yung number of trades natin is hindi naman siya ganun kababaan. So, kung gusto nyo pumasok dito kay TBGI, mag-accumulate ng shares, I would say ang safe side natin dito is uh, 0.45. So, uh, may chance pa rin naman na mabasag natin itong uh, 0.57 uh, area pero mga 50 uh, to 60%. So, for example, kung mabasag natin siya by uh, next week, siguro maximum, pwede natin maabot itong 0.62. Pero kung uh, sakali, pwede tayong magkabuhusan dyan at pwede tayong uh, bumaba dito sa level na to around uh, 0.62. 45. So, medyo huwag kayong bibili dito uh, near 0.55 kasi medyo mataas yung uh, area na yan. Mas maganda below 0.50 tayo bibili kung sakali. So, check nyo po maigi yung magiging options natin for TBGI. Abra Mining, close today at 0.0051. Meron po tayong 50% na pagtaas sa kanya from our previous closing price around uh, 0.0034. Number of trades natin, 10,460, so very active. And uh, net foreign selling natin, uh, negative 3.76 million. Checking our net foreign indicator. So that is uh, after ng ating uh, parang uh, green dito sa ating uh, net foreign indicator na 1.11 million yung pumasok sa ating kapon. Ngayon naman, uh, na-doble siya. Meron tayong lumabas na at least uh, 3 million dito kay Abra Mining. Dito po sa ating chart, meron tayo ditong uh, resistance around 0.0050 area and then support around 0.0038. So, in-update po natin itong mga uh, retracement natin or possible um, support and resistance since uh, malalaki, malaki po yung volume na ginawa natin uh, today. So, checking our stochastic indicator. So, strong momentum. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa ating uh, almost peak area, 100, level 100. Uh, overbought area, checking our RSI. So, nandito tayo sa level 81. Going into our peak, uh, level 92. Checking our MACD. So, uh, ganun din. Maganda rin yung ating uh, momentum today. Pero, tingnan ninyo yung uh, histogram na ito ni uh, Abra Mining compared sa histogram ni TBGI kanina. Yung histogram ni TBGI, uh, pwede natin siya mahalin tulad dito sa December 11 or December 10, so masyadong mataas ka agad. Dito naman kay Abra Mining, hindi siya ganun kataasan, so medyo maganda yung histogram na nakikita natin dito kay 
Abra Mining. So, ang nakikita rin natin sa pang red flag dito is yung ganitong klaseng candlestick. So, same thing with the uh, TBGI. Meron din tayong uh, 40% natin na sa kanya. So, definitely nga rin, kung may mga traders tayong nandito, definitely meron tayong traders uh, mag magpa-profit taking sila uh, by next week. Pero prior to this one pa naman, meron na tayong itong uptrend na sinusundan sa kanya. So, same thing din with the uh, TBGI pero mas uh, mas maganda yung trend na ginagawa ni uh, Abra Mining if if I can compare it to uh, TBGI so uh, just in case papasok kayo dito kay Abra Mining or meron na kayong shares dito kay Abra Mining sa meron na mga shares you can still hold uh, your shares dahil maganda yung ating uh, momentum uh, as of the moment and uh, tingnan mo naman yung volume na ginawa natin dito so so, so talagang uh, solid Uh, buying volume yung tinignan natin. Pero nung last time na nagkaroon tayo dito uh, around uh, December 10, so nagkaroon ka agad tayo ng selling volume. So possible then na uh, by next week, kasi nga meron tayong mga possible traders na naipit dito as pagkaroon tayo ng uh, selling volume sa kanya. So kung bibili kayo dito kay uh, Abra Mining, uh, please don't buy near 0.0051. At least take nyo yung half neto. Siguro around uh, 0, 0. Uh, 0.0045 below. Yan yung ating uh, best price sa kanya. Pero uh, definitely 100%. Babasag natin itong 0.0051 uh, by Monday. Hopefully, um, kung magkaroon tayo ng low dito, is um, mag-close lang tayo dito sa area na to around uh, 0.0055. So at least magkaroon tayo ng high uh, by uh, Monday. Maganda para ma-observe pa rin natin yung Um, uptrend na tinitingnan, sa, tinitingnan natin dito kay Abra Mining together with the good momentum na nakikita natin sa kanya. So, same thing din kay uh, TBGI na nireview natin kanina. As long as magkaroon tayo ng panibagong high uh, by Monday, maganda yung makikita natin uh, trend sa kanya. So, dito kay Abra Mining, uh, check nyo po maigi yung magiging options ninyo sa kanya, especially sa mga wala pang uh, shares. PHR close today at 3.22. Meron po tayong pagbaba na 3.01% sa kanya from our previous closing price. Around 3.32. Number of trades natin 1,200. And meron tayong itong uh, net foreign buying na 6,000 pesos. Checking our uh, net foreign indicator. Labas lang po natin yung ating net foreign. So that is after nung ating uh, paglabas din naman kahapon ng around uh, 300,000. Uh, so meron tayong net foreign selling kahapon, January 14. So today, meron naman tayo at least kahit pa paano 6,000. Pero may kita natin medyo mahina yung support compared sa lumabas uh, sa ating kahapon. So checking our uh, chart, meron po tayo ditong resistance around 3.40 area and support around 3.20 area. Checking our stochastic indicator. Wala po tayong momentum and wala tayong sa overbought area. Nandito tayo sa level 56. Double checking it into our RSI. So same thing. Wala rin po momentum and wala rin sa overbought area. <coughs> Nasa level 53 po tayo. Checking our MACD. Nakaangat pa naman yung ating blue line. Pero uh, same thing, uh, bumababa po yung ating uh, histogram dito. So mapapansin natin dito tayo parang merong uh, strong momentum. na na-observe kay PHR noong January 7, 8, and January 11. Pero after nun, unti-unting nagsusubside yung ating uh, momentum. So, mahina yung momentum na pinapakita ni PHR. And the uh, same thing sa ating mga stochastic or RSI indicator. Wala tayo sa overbought area. And um, yung gantong klaseng candlestick is a sign of a rejection of this uh, resistance around 3.5. 40 area. So currently, nabasag natin itong moving average 9 natin. So mga nasa 40 to 50% uh, strong lang itong ating support around 3.20. And uh, you can expect by uh, next week, Monday, mabubus, mabubutas pa natin pababa itong ating uh, blue line, itong ating moving average 20. And uh, possible by the end of the week is uh, mapunta pa tayo dito sa 
around 3 peso area. So, mahina yung momentum ni uh, PHR. So, ito yung high natin as of the moment nung uh, January 8. And then, um, patuloy pa rin natin ma-observe itong uh, lower highs na nakikita natin sa kanya. So, the best price na pwede nating observe itong si PHR is uh, near the moving average 50 itong ating red line. So, by next week, aangat naman siya. So, possible uh, nandito tayo. Maganda yung around the 3 point. 05 area. So, ito rin yung area kung saan nagko-consolidate itong mga candlesticks na to from December 4 hanggang December uh, 22. So, maganda tong area na to na 3.05 kung gusto nyo pumasok or mag-accumulate ng shares dito kay PHR. So, check nyo po may IG na magiging options natin for PHR. Dito CME, close to the 12.08. Meron po tayong pagbaba na 0.49% sa kanya from our previous closing price. Around uh, 12.14. Uh, and uh, trades natin, 8,470. And uh, net foreign buying, uh, 3.32 million today. So, counter check lang din po natin yung ating uh, net foreign indicator dito. So, from um, January 12 naman, <clears throat> meron magandang uh, support tayo coming from the foreign investors. So, meron tayo dito around 11 million. Pero may kita rin natin yung uh, parang pag-descend ng pagpasok ng ating uh, support from our foreign investors. But still good kasi 4 consecutive days tayo merong uh, support coming from the foreign investors. So, uh, currently... Uh, dito sa ating chart, meron tayong support dito or resistance around 12.75 area and support around 11.60. Checking our stochastic indicator, wala po tayong momentum na makita and currently nandito tayo sa level 60. Checking our RSI indicator, uh, wala rin po siya sa overbought area, nandito tayo sa level 67. But uh, still uh, near the overbought area and uh, checking our MACD. Kita natin na nag-flatline na itong ating uh, blue line and red line. Although, may kita natin dito sa ating histogram, meron pa siyang parang dot. So, umbaga parang nasa upper side pa siya. However, by um, next week, kapag uh, magkaroon pa rin tayo ng pangit na candlestick, we can observe na magko-cross down itong ating blue line and uh, tutusok na tayo pababa dito sa ating histogram. So, we can uh, therefore conclude na as of the moment, mahina yung uh, momentum na nakikita natin dito kay uh, dito CME. The only uh, green flag that uh, we can see here is yung support ng ating uh, mga investors or mga foreign investors. Pero may kita rin natin yung trades natin, hindi na siya ganun uh, karami. So parang uh, nabawasan tayo, naging 8,000 uh, na lang yung ating um, trades dito kay dito CME. So therefore, <coughs> itong ating support, na 11.6 area is hindi siya ganun kalakasan. So, we can say na mga 40% strong lang itong ating 11.60 area. And uh, we can speculate na pwede natin mabutas pa baba itong 11.60 area. And pwede tayong magkaroon ng low na around 11.30 kung saan uh, everyday naman tumatas itong ating moving average 20. So, baka mamit natin si moving average 20 here around 11. Uh, point 20 area. So, same review po tayo sa kanya. Gumagawa tayo ng base. Meron tayong mga lower highs na na-observe dito kay uh, dito CME. Si so, yun nga. Plus, humina yung ating momentum. So, expect ninyo na mag-meet mag itong ating uh, moving average 9 and uh, moving average 20 somewhere here below 11.60. And then, um, patuloy pa rin tayong magko-consolidate. Not until bumalik yung ating uh, momentum sa kanya. So, ngayon, uh, medyo wala po tayong asahan for next week, even uh, the following week dito kay dito si ME unless magkaroon tayo ng uh, good uh, cattle sa kanya. But uh, for the meantime, uh, magpapahinga po muna itong si uh, dito si ME. So check nyo po may IG, magiging options natin for dito si ME. Mary Mart, close to at 7.60. Meron po tayong pagtaas na 4.97% sa kanya from our previous closing price. 
around the 7.24 number of trades at 6,170 and net foreign selling today negative 3.89 million so pull up lang din natin yung ating uh, net foreign indicator dito So, after po ito ng pagpasok or two consecutive trading day na meron po tayong support coming from the foreign investors. So, ngayong araw po yung ating uh, first trading day na medyo uh, malaki po yung lumabas dito kay Mary March. So, 3.89 million. And dito sa ating uh, chart, we can say na meron tayong bagong resistance na pwedeng i-observe sa kanya around 7.90. And then, yung bagong support natin dito kay Mary March is itong point uh, 39 area. Checking our stochastic indicator, wala pa rin po tayo sa overbought area pero meron tayong momentum na nakikita sa kanya. Nasa level 64 tayo. Uh, checking our RSI indicator, so tumutusok din po pataas itong ating RSI indicator currently. Nasa level 64 tayo. Checking our MACD, so nag-flatline na rin po yung ating blue line and red line. So same thing with uh, dito CME. Gantong klase na rin po yung ating uh, MACD and yung ating histogram. Bukod sa nag-descend is talagang parang dot na lang siya. So sobrang hina yung nakikita nating uh, momentum dito kay Mary March. So same thing with dito CME. So parehas po silang nag-form ng high. Currently na kailangan natin basagin bago tayo magkaroon ng panibagong uptrend sa kanya. So ito pong si uh, Mary Mart. Although meron tayong magandang candlestick today. Meron tayong magandang volume for uh, two days. Pero intact pa rin po yung mga lower highs na na-observe natin sa kanya. And uh, yung momentum natin sa ating MACD is uh, hindi na ganun kaganda. Plus wala naman tayo sa ating overbought area. So itong ating 7.39 support area is mga 40 uh, percent strong lang. We can still observe that uh, by the following days is uh, mabasag natin pababa itong ating 7.39 area. So ang um, best price na pwede natin ma-observe si Mary Mart is near uh, 6.95 or near 7 peso area. Kung saan magmi-meet po itong ating uh, moving average 9 pati yung ating moving average 20. So uh, consolidation yung nakikita natin kay Mary Mart heading uh, towards down dito sa range ng between 6.95 to 7.39 area. So, dito po, uh, below 7.39 and near 6.95 area yung best price na pwedeng bumili kay Mary Mart. So, check nyo po may igi yung magiging options natin for Mary Mart. MRC, close to date 0.76. Meron po tayong pagbaba na 3.80% sa kanya from our previous closing price around 0.79. Number of trades po natin 6,380 and net foreign selling na negative 30.67 million. So that is right after ng ating uh, two consecutive trading days na meron pong support coming from the foreign investors. So napakalaki rin po ng, ating, uh, ng lumabas dito kay MRC today. So meron pa rin po tayo ditong resistance around uh, 0 0.80 area and then support around 0. 76 area. Checking our stochastic indicator. So, wala po tayong makita momentum. And currently, nasa level 72 tayo. Wala tayo sa overbought area. Checking our RSI indicator. Ganun din. Nawala yung ating momentum. And wala rin tayo sa overbought area. Nandito tayo sa level 67. Checking our MACD. So, we still have a good space between the blue line and red line. So, dito sa ating MACD, meron tayong momentum na nakita. And dito naman sa ating histogram, patuloy pa rin po yung ating parang pagme-maintain ng uh, highest uh, high bar dito sa ating histogram. So, meron tayong pag-ascend, pinakamataas natin kahapon, then medyo bumaba tayo today, January 15. But still, hindi naman kagad tayo nag-susubside uh, ng ganito kababa. So, meaning to say, meron pa rin tayong uh, magandang momentum na pwede observe dito kay MACD. Although, wala tayo sa overbought area natin. So, uh, possible by uh, Monday, we can observe na magkaroon tayo ng price siguro uh, low ng 0 0.74 or around uh, 0 0.73. But still, uh, we can still observe na by Monday we, we are going to maintain itong uh, 0 0.76 to 0 0.80 area. So, uh, possible na magkaroon tayo ng high dito around 0 0.80 or 0 0.79 area. However, medyo, uh, medyo impossible na mabasag natin itong 0 0.80 natin. 
uh, by Monday. But still, we can still uh, follow this trend that uh, we can observe kay MRC. So, uh, mahina siya kasi wala tayo sa overbought area pero meron tayong momentum na in-expect sa kanya. So, sa mga gusto mag-accumulate ng shares or pumasok dito kay MRC, so 0. Uh, at least 0, uh, 0 0.74 or maximum ng 0 0.73 pwede nyo ma-observe itong CMRC. So, check nyo po may IG yung magiging options natin for MRC. The JFC close today at 194.10. Meron po tayong pagbaba na 1.42% sa kanya from our previous closing price around the 196 area. And the number of trades natin today, 3,210 net foreign selling na 80.29 million. Let's double check our uh, net foreign indicator. Sa ating net foreign indicator, may kita natin na pang ilang araw ba to? Simula December 10, actually wala tayong support coming from the uh, foreign investors. So mahina mahina po yung support natin from the foreign investors since last month. So uh, more than one month na siyang uh, puro negative sa ating uh, foreign investors. Dito sa ating chart, Meron tayo ditong resistance around 201 area and then support around 192 area. Checking our stochastic indicator. So low momentum. Nandito tayo sa level 34 or 33 heading towards dito sa ating oversold area. Checking our RSI indicator. Uh, wala rin po tayong momentum na nakikita and heading towards the oversold area rin po tayo around level 45. Checking our MACD. So, mababa pa rin po itong ating uh, blue line. So, wala pa rin tayong sign na nakikita na magko-crossover itong ating blue line dito sa ating red line. So, pansinin natin yung ating histogram. So, puro uh, patusok pa baba lang po itong ating uh, MACD or itong ating histogram. So, we can therefore conclude. Uh, sobrang hina po ng ating momentum. Wala tayo sa overbought area and more on the oversold. And uh, puro net foreign selling yung nakikita natin dito kay uh, JFC. So unfortunately, uh, maraming red flag tayong nakikita dito kay uh, JFC. So itong uh, 192 area natin, we can say na mga uh, nasa 60 to 70 percent lang yung uh, chance neto na magstay or mag-support dito sa ating uh, candlestick. Meaning to say, malaki yung chance na mabasag natin tong 192 area natin uh, pababa. So, uh, kung nag-accumulate kayo ng shares dito kay JFC at gusto nyo pumasok, sa mga gusto pumasok, wag po muna kayong pumasok dito kay JFC dahil puro red flags yung nakita natin. Pero ang better price na pwede ma-observe natin dito si uh, JFC is maximum 185. So, it looks like na magkakaroon tayo ng uh, retest sa kanya sa ginawa natin noong November 5, December 1, and possible uh, ngayong January. Uh, magkaroon tayo dito ng another retest sa 185 area. So, check niyo po maigi yung magiging options natin for JFC. Abacore, close to date, 0.72. Meron po tayong pagbaba na 1.37% sa kanya from our previous closing price. Around uh, 0.73. Number of trades natin is 586. And uh, net foreign Buying tayo today, 867,000. Checking our net foreign indicator. So, uh, meron tayo ditong support coming from the foreign investors beginning January 5 hanggang January 15. Dito sa ating chart, meron tayo ditong uh, bagong resistance around 0 0.73 and uh, bagong support around uh, 0 0.70. So, hindi na po tayo nagkaroon ng high dito around 0 0.76. So therefore, yan po yung ating uh, next resistance na kailangan basagin which is uh, parang naging high natin around uh, January 11 and January 12. Checking our stochastic indicator. Wala po tayong momentum and currently nandito tayo sa level 58. Checking our RSI indicator. So same thing, wala rin po tayo sa overbought and uh, no momentum. We are currently here level 56. Checking our MACD. So may ita natin na naka cross down po yung ating blue line. So, mahina rin yung momentum na nakikita natin sa kanya. And dito sa ating ascending or dito sa ating histogram, meron po tayo dito ang pag-descend ng mga bars na nakikita natin. Actually, it has begun since uh, December 23rd. Kung baga, nagkaroon lang tayo ng slight na pag-cross up dito noong January 11, pero hindi siya nagtuloy. So, therefore, wala pa rin po tayong momentum na nakikita dito kay Abacor as of the moment. 
And yung mga lower highs na na-observe po natin dito noong December 17, actually para siyang continuation lang. Nagkaroon tayo dito ng high again noong um, around uh, January 11. Pero ito rin yung high natin noong December 17. So matinding rejection pa rin yung nakikita natin dito. And ayun nga po, naputol na natin yung trend na sinusundan natin sa kanya. So apparently, uh, more on red flags. Yun ang kita natin dito kay Abacor. So itong uh, 0.70 na support natin is mga nasa 40%. Strong lang siya. We can still observe na by the following days or weeks, pwede natin mabasag pa baba itong 0.70 area. So we can say na around the 0.68 or near 0.66 area is yung um, best price na pwede natin kunin itong si Abacor while our indicators are down and wala tayong momentum na makita sa kanya. So check niyo po may igi yung magiging options natin for Abacor. BSC close rate 1.43. Meron po tayong pagtaas na 36.19% sa kanya from our previous closing price. Around 1.05 number of trades po natin today. 30,300 then net foreign selling na 67.94 million checking our net foreign indicator here so after po nang uh, pumasok sa atin kahapon around the 98 million meron naman tayong paglabas sa day na 67 million so therefore meron pa namang natitira dito sa mga pumasok sa atin uh, kahapon dito sa ating chart meron tayo ditong uh, resistance around 1.55 area and then support around 1.5 uh, 26 area. So, uh, nire-evaluate po natin yung ating mga support and uh, resistance dito para kay uh, BSC para po maging fit sa mga current na candlestick na nangyayari po dito ngayon kay BSC. So, dito po sa ating stochastic indicator, nasa overbought area pa rin po tayo. Nandito tayo sa level 90, checking our RSI indicator. So, same thing then Pataas din yung ating nakikita dito. So, kung mapapansin natin, para siyang si Apollo noon na dire-diretso lang pagtaas yung ating uh, RSI indicator. So, nandito tayo sa level 94. Checking our MACD. Uh, maganda pa rin yung space ng ating blue line and dito sa ating uh, red line. And sa ating histogram, patuloy pa rin po yung pag-ascend niya. So, maganda-maganda yung uh, histogram na ginagawa nito ni uh, BSC. So, uh, well, we can observe na pwede pa nating uh, ma, uh, tawag nito, ma-maintain yung ganitong klaseng histogram dito kay uh, BSC by next week. Kasi uh, mataas pa rin yung ating uh, momentum sa kanya. Marami pa rin tayong number of trades dito kay BSC. So, we can therefore conclude there is still a good chance na mabasag natin tong 1.55 area by uh, next week. And uh, kung magpapatuloy po yung ganitong klaseng momentum, uh, pwede nating ma-reach itong uh, 1.98 area. Pero mga 30% lang siyang pwede mangyari. Ang possible na mangyari by next week is that ma-reach natin itong 1.80 area. So sa may mga hawak mong shares kay uh, BSC, you can still continue to hold it. Meron pa tayong magandang paggalaw na nakikita sa kanya. At sa mga gustong pumasok dito kay uh, BSC, I would suggest na dito nyo siya bangan, bandang uh, 1.26 area. However, there's still a chance na bumaba siya dito hanggang uh, 1.20 or mga 1.15 dahil naiiwan natin na sobra itong ating uh, moving average 9. Pero I, I would say, kung, uh, kung very positive yung tingin ninyo dito kay BSC, uh, 1.26 is uh, good enough or pwede kayong magbigay ng allowance hanggang 1.20 para pumasok dito kay uh, BSC. So, uh, almost green flags yung nakikita natin dito kay BSC. So, uh, maganda pa rin yung galaw na tinitingnan natin dito kay BSC. So, pwede natin siyang maalin tulad kay uh, APL as of the moment. Pero, we would still need to re-evaluate it kung magtutuloy-tuloy din yung pagtaas niya kagaya ni uh, APL. So, check niyo po may igi yung magiging options ninyo for BSC. AGI close rate 10.36, meron po tayong pagtaas na 2.98% sa kanya from our previous closing price, around uh, 10.06, number of trades natin 1,460, and uh, we have a net foreign uh, buying today 20.83 million, checking our net foreign indicator. So uh, maganda naman yung support natin dito for the past uh, 3 days, so meron po tayong magandang support coming from the foreign investors and dito sa ating chart meron tayo ditong resistance around 10.40 area 
and then support around 10.20 area checking our stochastic indicator uh, nagkaroon po tayo ng momentum and currently nandito tayo sa level 51 checking our RSI indicator uh, nasa level 53 naman tayo checking our MACD ito sa ating MACD wala tayong makitang uh, momentum sa kanya and uh, malalaki pa rin yung bars natin dito on the downside and wala tayong sign na makita na magko-crossover itong ating blue line dito sa ating uh, red line so wala tayo sa overbought area and then uh, wala rin tayong momentum na makita sa ating uh, MACD meron lang po tayo ditong green flag na net foreign buying na 20.83 million number of trades natin is uh, mababa rin so yung ating volume is uh, hindi ganun uh, kalakihan So, natapos na nga po itong trend na ina-observe natin ngayon. And it looks like na nagkakaroon po tayo ng uh, parang uh, downtrend dito kay AGI as of the moment. So, may mga lower highs tayong uh, na-observe sa kanya. And isa pa palang indicator natin sa kanya na green flag is yung ating um, buyback transaction. Pero as of the moment, medyo lamang yung ating uh, red flag. So, itong ating 10.20 area is uh, 30% strong lang. If you want to accumulate shares or pumasok dito kay uh, AGI, uh, it is uh, safer to buy uh, near 9.92. So baka magkaroon na naman tayo ng uh, retest dito kung saan na uh, dito tayo medyo nagkakaroon ng consolidation from January 5 hanggang January 14. So may kita rin natin itong ating uh, moving average 50 is medyo umaangat na rin. So... There's a chance na lumuko na rin itong ating moving average 20. And currently, itong ating purple line is naka-cross down na dito sa ating moving average 20. So, meron talaga tayong uh, weak momentum na nakikita dito kay AGI. So, ang safe side na pwede bumili dito kay uh, AGI is uh, near 9.92 area while we are performing uh, lower highs. And then from there, we have to re-evaluate kung bumabalik na ba yung momentum natin para makita natin kung magkakaroon na tayo ng bounce back sa kanya. So check nyo po may ingay yung magiging options natin for AGI. And that's it for today. Kung nagustuhan nyo po itong video na ito, please don't forget to like it and share it as well para mapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. At sa mga bago pong nanonood ng video na ito at sa patuloy na sumusubaybay po sa ating channel, I am inviting you to please subscribe on this channel para maging updated po kayo sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin, particularly sa mga insights na binibigay po natin sa ating mga stocks. Maraming maraming salamat po sa oras ninyo. Happy weekend! I'll see you soon! Q Republic!